Right, I've just been um, sent um, this interesting little product over from the um, United States of America. Uh, contacted a little while ago and um, yep, it's finally turned up and they want to know my honest opinion. Um, I'm not trying to sell the item, I'm just telling you um, what I'm looking at, what I'm feeling um, for the first time. I've literally just taken it out of its um, jiffy bag and I must say it's not too bad at all actually. It's something different. I haven't seen anything like this before. Um, I know um, our friend Jeff in the States has um, reviewed it as well but in the UK we haven't seen nothing like this. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a multi-tool attachment um, for your clipper lighter. There's your clipper lighter there. If I can just get it out. There it is. So it's a bit um, hot and sweaty in the UK at the moment. <laughs> so you're just a basic clipper lighter. And that is what you've got on the inside there. A stainless steel shell. Um, once it's in there, you've got a bottle opener, which is Wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And for a blade, imported from Japan, stainless steel. I think it's 440. Uh, sorry, 400. Yeah. So it's not going to rust. I'll tell you what. Let's have a look. That looks quite sharp. Yeah. Oh my, that is fantastic, look at that. That's a good edge for um, a tiny little blade, look at that. It's a tiny little thing. Look at a little mini katana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is a good blade. And another thing which, um, I don't know if you've been in a situation before um, where your glasses or sunglasses um, come loose you get this really little cool triple zero screwdriver and man I could think you can do quite a few things with that you know um, I should imagine you've got your um, your iPad your iPhones that sort of stuff maybe you can clean out the porch you know sometimes you get all the crud and all the dust and god knows what in there you can pick it all out of that it's not a bad idea I quite like that and it snaps pretty much like one of those Victorian oxes as well. Yeah, that's neat. And what else have we got in it? Look at that. I got a pair of scissors as well. It all snaps pretty solid. Quite impressive. Right, let's see what the scissors are like. If it's anything like that blade, I should imagine it's pretty good. Let's see if I can get you in shot there. at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. <sighs> yeah that is, that is razor sharp. Wow. It's been oiled as well. It's got a nice free range of movement. Very small as you can see. <laughs> and it just literally wants to fly back into its little case there. That's pretty cool. And look at that. Lighter bro. <laughs> you got quite a long um, neck lanyard as well. With a safety brake, which is a good idea. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. And for the price point on these, it's, uh, it's very, very reasonable, I think. I'm not sure if there's a right way or a wrong way around that the lighter goes in, but it seems to go in there fine. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. It doesn't feel flimsy, um, like it can break. As you see, when it opens up, it seems to sort of that lock. The actual 
piece there where it joins the body. When I'm moving it, it's staying still. It's only the flexibility of the blade because it's so thin and sharp that it's flexing. It's not flexing a lot. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, if you smoke or you, you're a prepper or into survival when you carry a lighter, it doesn't really take up that much extra room when you consider it. You can see the, um, the clipper lighter there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. When the, these guys first contacted me, um, they wanted to know my initial um, views on the pictures they sent me. And I was very interested because as I said, I haven't seen anything like that before. It was a, a new one on me. Um, the, the first thing, um, maybe unfairly, that um, I said back was, um, have you got any plans to do anything with a Zippo lighter? Because, I, was, I don't know, I should imagine, you know, preppers and survivors carry a Zippo and a Clipper. So, sorry, a Bic lighter. Um, it would be good if they did. That would be absolutely amazing if they could modify the Zippo. Because everyone's got Zippos. Mind you, everyone's got Bics, haven't they? So, I can fully understand why I'm doing that. Um, honest opinion. I really like this. I'm not too keen on this. It just seems a bit cheap and flimsy, if I'm totally honest. Um, the carabiner. I mean, it might be wise to hook up with night eyes with the s beaners and get the small one instead of this little thing. In my own personal preference, of course. Um, but no, for that, I really like it. That's a fact. Let's get that thing off. Let's lose that. There we go. It's a new puppy altogether. So I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm sorry for all the fingerprints. As I said, it's really, really hot, humid evening, and um, everything's a bit slippery. <laughs> yeah, it fits in there nice and snug, which is probably a good thing, really, because you wouldn't want that rattling around or, or losing it. So that is a plus. The bottle opener there on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. And uh, marks out of 10, as I say, for this. For the price, I think it's around £10 or something. Um, I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got some blurb. It's been on the back here. Uh, right, let me see. So if any of you subscribers wants to buy one of these um, from loiterbro.com at the checkout, just use the um, discount code FUNKY to get free shipping in the US. Wow. If you have international viewers, the code is 445. That's the best deal for you subscribers in the UK. So if you buy four of these, you get the fifth one for free. Shipping internationally is $12. So it's equivalent of free shipping. Oh, that's pretty neat. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, if I see these for sale in the UK on Amazon, I'll probably go and buy one myself, so. Yeah. Out of build quality, for the price, I can't fault it, really. I'll give that a nine. 10 would just be, you know, you can't give a 10, really. It has to be absolutely proper mint. I mean, I can't really fault it. But no, I think a nine's a fair, a fair score. Nine out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. So, um, there is something new for the UK, boys and girls. That's the packaging it comes in. And there's a little diagram of the, the bottle opener being used as well. So I should imagine the Cam Bazza guys will be wearing these around their necks. I mean, I know they like a beer or 10. And I know they want a little blade on them, and I know a lot of them wear glasses. So with that little screwdriver, it pops out on the bottom. Yeah, I can see that being quite handy, yeah. Very cool. So there's the new lighter, guys. All the way from Lighter Bro in America. <laughs> Links in the description box below. Enough said. I think it's a great little item. Thanks for watching guys, stay funky.